Good morning, y'all. So today I got this uh, short review, a short video uh, about floating apps on the shoe. Uh, you can, it's an app that allows you to multitask. So I already have it installed. You can get it from App Toys. You can get it from APK, APK Pure. You can get it from AC Market, or you could go to uh, play.google.com and go through Google itself. It has a a free version and a paid version. The paid version is like three ninety nine. It was on sale for like two something. Um, I don't know if it's still there or not, but like I said, I already have it installed. And once you install it, what's going to happen is you're going to come to this screen here. After you allow uh, it access to your storage, it's going to ask you to enable draw over other apps. And when you click OK or click on it, you come up with this error. Okay, to get rid of this, we're gonna have to go to settings. So I'm gonna go home. We're gonna go to settings. And we're gonna go to about. Uh, I haven't disabled this, so let me do this right quick. So what we're gonna do is gonna go to about. Click into that and go down to build. And we're going to click this eight times until you see you are now a developer. I'm going to escape back out and I'm going to go down and you see developer options is there. We're going to click into that and we're going to go down to USB debugging. We're going to turn that on. It's going to ask you to allow. You say okay. It's telling you what this USB is, uh, debugging is enabled. So once you get through with this process, this whole thing is, uh, we get done with this, come back in here and turn this off. So I'm going to escape back. And I'm going to go up here to apps. And we're going to go down to floating apps. Now here, we're going to need that com.lwi, that is your package name. So we need that to go with, I guess I should have said, you're going to need a minimum ADB debugging for your computer. I'm using Windows 10, and you're going to need um, your shield drivers. If your computer doesn't automatically pick them up, um, you have to go to NVIDIA site to uh, get the, the correct drivers. I'll leave a link for the drivers and the uh, ADB debugging um, in the description. But now I'm gonna connect my computer to, or the shield to my computer. And right now it's asking me asking you to allow so so I'm gonna go over here and hit okay you allow the computer and the shield to connect and I'm gonna open up a to B debugging on my computer bring it up on the screen so if you didn't get this um, about allowing the computer after you type this in which you're going to type in ADB shell. If you didn't get it before, you get it now. So I'll go ahead and hit OK. And then type ADB debugging and shell. And then you'll be where we're at right now. So we're going to type in A-P-P-O-P-S-S-E-T. And then right here, you're typing the package name, which is C O M dot l w i dot android dot f l a p p s four now if you got the free version it might be different if you got this is the latest version now like if you go into app droid or apk pure i think the latest version they have is 4.2 it's really not that big of a difference between the two but you know you can do what you want and here you can type in uh, caps lock. I mean, I <laughs> push the caps lock, and we're gonna type in uh, system underscore 
alert underscore and then window and take caps lock off and type in allow and here you know after you we're gonna hit enter so you see no changes on either screen so much so we can just exit out of um, the ADB minimum ADB and we can just hit enter from here since we already and as you can see you're now in the app I'll close it out just to let let you see that it will open back up you will not have that issue about um, popping back saying enable so basically this app allows you to do multiple things so here what we're gonna do is just go over here to the three lines and go down to settings and you're gonna make sure that this is checked so it enables the floating apps uh, for me this did not work and I think what it what it, well what it's supposed to do is if you enable it it's supposed to have an icon up here that allows you access to the floating uh, menu but it, it never worked for me so I usually just disable it I mean well turn uncheck it and I didn't really mess with this area here and then here is the floating menu you want to enable that and like by default this is off so your menu usually comes up on this side if by default now if you don't like it over here on the left side of course click it and it'll pop up over here on the on the right and then you can have it you see I have a short screen you can click this to make it longer I'll leave it that leave it like that uh, I wouldn't disable the swipe otherwise you wouldn't be able to get into it now you can change the how dark the menu or the icon show up with this one right here you can change the background how dark it shows up right here with the background and as you can see I only have two different little icons in here so I have the launcher if you type click that these are all my apps that I have on my shield right now so that's what the launcher does and the applications if you click it it opens up all of your floating apps that's by default that comes with it now you can go down here to configure menu and turn some of those apps on so you won't have to go into the applications menu that's I mean you know that's personal preference on that and you can slide it you know click on these two two lines here and move whatever which way so I'm gonna turn on the camera the bookmarks add notes and the browser so go back well as you can see I added all those right and you can go back into configure menu and change like what position you want add notes up here you know you can just move them around okay we're gonna go back and I think this is pretty much all you need to do in the settings you know that it's, it's still it's some stuff in here you probably could play with so we're gonna go back to the three lines and go to my apps and in this area you can make your own widget I guess you could say or your own apps they if you hit the plus sign they have some already popular apps you can go in and do like you got Instagram you can click I click that go back and hit Amazon so I got those two apps that it created just like that and then you click into here and you can say like it's a website that you constantly go to you can put that in create a URL so
I don't even know what the site is, but you get get what I'm saying. So I'm just gonna put. I know this not right, but it's just an example of what you can do. Now, if you don't have this clicked, it comes up as a mobile website. So I'm going to click it and click save. And the last one, I don't, I didn't, I haven't actually played with this, but you know, that's something you can play with. You can make a widget. But to, like say you, like I said, if you put the wrong uh, website in there or the URL, you can click these little gears over here on the right side and it'll take you into this. So you go all the way down, you can come back in here and change it. So in, in this area too, you can go and put show in your floating menu. So if I click this, it's going to take me to the config menu. And the stuff that we just added will be down here at the bottom. So as you can see, we got Amazon and the XDA and Instagram that I just tried, just did. So if I click over here and pull up my menu again, you see I'm over here in my floating uh, floating menu. Uh, I hit the wrong button. So we go back in here and you can hit this plus sign right here. So if you hit the plus here, it's going to ask you if you want to add any of your apps to the quick menu. So like, uh, say you want one of these, uh, markets. So now it's down at the bottom. And if I select it, it's going to be at the bottom on my floating Now you really, you know, it's, it's just like it's personal preference because like you have all of your apps and launcher. So you really don't need that. But, you know, I guess it saves you a couple of clicks if you just add it here. But I'll show you like what you can do with it. Like you could do the split screen. Like say you're watching a you want to watch a YouTube video and take notes on it or something like that. So you go to video player. Well, that's not. This is just a video that I downloaded, but you can use it. You know what? Let's just do it from YouTube. So we're going to go to the applications. Go to YouTube. You know, you can go into the video and let that play. Well, I thought it was going to play. Okay. There it is up there. And you can change, like you, like I said, if you want to do split screen, you can change all this. Ah. Go here and drag it. Yeah, I'm going to cut this short. Come over here and say you want to add, you want to take notes on this. So you can come over here and type in whatever. You know, you got that going on. It's all at the same time. You can actually have a video going. Let's see if I can bring that up. So you got the video. I mean, you know, you can do everything. You can bring up a camera. Um, I don't have mine connected right now. You can add bookmarks, the browser. Like you can go in here to the browser. So the default is set at uh, Google. Or you could change it to, uh, say you don't like Google and you want to use um, 
What is that? Bing? So you want to set that as your default. Go to these three lines and do make as home page or what did it say? Set as home page right here. So you got it set. When you open this up again, like I'm going to close it out and we go back to browser and Bing is set. I hit the wrong thing, but you know, you can, like here, we hit the Amazon, you can click this little corner here and drag it to make it as big as, small as you want. Uh, the, here's the website that I know is wrong, but you know. And as you can see, the video and everything, both videos are still playing in the background. We, I haven't seen it not working or pausing, buffering, or anything like that. So you got Instagram. I mean, the possibilities are endless. I guess it all depends on what you're trying to do. But anyway, I showed you how to do this. Uh, like, subscribe if you like this video. Uh, comment down below and tell me what you think.